All right, welcome back. So this is 2014A2. So there's a function from the open interval 0, 1 to itself, defined by the, some piecewise thing, so increase it by a half if it's um, less than a half, and otherwise you square it. So this will kind of slowly decrease it. And I missed, uh, I miscopied the problem and there's a clause missing. Well, okay, whatever. So it's like you take two starting things and you want to show that no matter what the, if you pick two different starting numbers, um, there's a index n for which like increase versus decrease. So in other words, like what I do is for every real number, it generates a sequence and that sequence has ups and downs and you would like to show that no two different real numbers have the same sequence. So that map is injective. Um, is videos.html getting updated? It gets updated every so often, like maybe once every couple of months I will update it with all the, uh, you know, the last month worth of problems. Also, whoever types at this use begin or, oh, whatever, I'll, I'll deal with it later. Hmm. Consider the distance between two terms. Are we not supposed to use begin align star? No, align star is fine. Um, the this thing is, this is actually an array in the original source file I got, which is, <laughs> you're supposed to use cases. Does the distance between A and BN just increase? Wait, what? Yeah, assume for contradiction. Uh, yeah, that, that's, I think that's definitely the right line. So if you assume for contradiction that um, this is the case, then if a less than b, so if one of them, this one is always a decrease, this one is always an increase. So from a b, you can you would go to a plus one half, b plus one half, and like. With that loss general, let's say a b less than a half, right? And then you start squaring it, and you square it repeatedly. And so, sorry, let's say a b greater than a half or something, right? The point is that b squared minus a squared is like greater than b minus a. So, yeah. Can I ask a question regarding number theory algebra? Sure, go for it. Just for knowing, can I give propose you a question? Uh, so the question proposals happen at AP, like at the start of the stream, which is 8 p.m. Eastern every Friday for like five to 10 minutes. And then we vote on which ones we want to do. Okay, so I don't think this finishes right away because um, an increasing sequence of real numbers might be, you know, it doesn't immediately die, but I think definitely like, um, so BN minus AN is weakly increasing and strictly increases infinitely many times. Uh, well, I need to show that it... I thought you solved all the 2014? No, that's not true. So what I need is for it to like increase by at least some amount. Right, so when it does increase, what is the amount it increases by? Um, I, I need to double check that the bound is correct. Bn plus an times bn minus an. Because I'm worried that what might happen is you might have a... It might like approach something but not exceed it. So I need to say something about... This thing is greater than one, that's fine. But I want it to be like... I need something like the following, right? Let's call this dn. If dn is this bound, and assume for contradiction the signs are all the same, then... Uh, 
what I need is to say this is at least... It's not enough to say it's strictly greater than, right? I need some sort of effective bound. So this is at least 1 half plus dn times... Sorry, 1 plus dn. Right, because you have two numbers that are greater than 1 half in a distance d sub n apart. So dn here, call this dn plus 1 on the chance it increases. Okay, and this is like uh, dn plus one half squared plus a quarter. Okay, so now I have an effective lower bound. Um, sorry, minus a quarter. Right, right, right. No, sorry, not minus a quarter. Minus three quarters. Jesus. Um, No, sorry, no! Ah! It's minus a quarter! Man, I can't complete the square, holy shoot! Wow, what a pull. Alright, we'll do that after this problem, alright? Um, so if, even if dn is... As long as dn is... Positive, I want this thing to increase without bound. So what estimate can I apply? Do I just drop the dn squared term? So this is at least twice dn... No. No, I know it's increasing. I needed to increase by something. Because an infinite sequence of real numbers that, like can increase without exceeding a bound, right? Like, like, wait, am I crazy? Like, it's not enough to just say it's weakly increasing. To get a contradiction, I need to, to weakly increase in such a way that it, like, breaks a bound, right? Because otherwise you can just approach something and then we don't get anything. Um... dn plus 1 minus dn is larger. Wait, is that true? Why is that true? What did I miss? Wait. Oh, oh! Pfft. I uh, My bad! Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm bad. <laughs> All right, this is this is at least like this is at least dn plus b minus a squared. All right, I got too carried away trying to look at the explicit close form. All right, that's fine. Yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> this is the initial term. So what I have is dn when it increases, it increases by at least b minus a squared.